Sometimes the greatest heroes are the ones forgotten with time. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 forgotten video game heroes. Yippee! For this list, we'll be looking at the lesser known gaming heroes who, after working their way to save their world, faded away after the credits rolled. This also includes characters who have had appearances in other franchises, but who haven't been on their own adventure for quite some time. This does not include those who have games in development or those who have had recent releases. Switching to all range mode. Let's take the offensive. Number 10, Lolo, Adventures of Lolo series. This particular character may sound familiar to you if you were to add one more Lo to that name. Lolo Lo is his name in several Kirby games and the anime series Kirby Right Back At Ya. I like that name. Though in the English dub, it's Fololo. Man, what's with the constant name changes for this guy? <sighs> but before all of that, Lolo, just two Lows and no foe, was the main protagonist for his own series of games in the late 80s and early 90s, where he traversed through different puzzles to locate hearts and open treasure chests to rescue his companion, Lala. <sighs> of course. Number 9, Goemon, Mystical Ninja Series. <laughs> Out of the four Goemon games to come out in the US, his Nintendo 64 titles are the most well known. With similar gameplay to Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time, it was definitely a lot of fun to play. However, its humor was hit or miss with American audiences, which is why many wish it would get a re release today. Thanks to the popularity of the anime now, a game with a peach shaped villainous spaceship and a giant roller skating robot wouldn't seem nearly as strange as it did back then. Besides, who doesn't sing along when the song starts? Number 8, Ragnar Rune. Ragnar, how are you, boy? Uh, I forgot myself. There comes a time in a young Viking's life when he gets to be the lead in a video game. Such a destiny was foretold about Ragnar, who gets tossed into the brewing conflict between Odin and Loki. No, not those two, and has the daunting task of preventing Ragnarok. Wisdom will come with experience and you'll have need of both in these dark times. Did we mention that it's also pretty much his first day on the job since he got initiated into Odin's Blade? You are brave indeed to carry on this hallowed tradition. The real twist is that, after the entire ordeal, you can actually decide to let Loki win. Maybe Ragnar was bitter about only being in one game. <laughs> Number 7, Zool, Zool series. <laughs> You may remember this guy as an honorable mention in our top 10 failed gaming franchises list, and yeah, we're still thinking about this one. Zool was a gremlin ninja, and well, we really don't need to say all that much more, because really, who doesn't want to cross between a gremlin and a ninja who traverses across stages that look like a candy store exploded? Seriously, how could he not become a platforming icon of the 90s, especially when both games were such huge successes for the Amiga and since Commodore filed for bankruptcy in 1994, a year after the release of Zool 2. Oh, well that makes sense. Number 6, The Ice Climbers. Dressed in their blue and pink parkas, Popo and Nana would race to the top of different mountain courses. But why are they on this list? I mean, we definitely know who the Ice Climbers are. They're those damn little annoying buggers that Dave always uses in Smash Brothers, damn you! Um, excuse me. But to our surprise, these two have only had one game release and it was 30 years ago. That's 30 years without even having a second game to their name. I mean, if they were well liked enough to be regulars in Smash Brothers, except even now, Smash Brothers have forgotten about them as they're not even in the most recent versions thanks to the limitations of the 3DS. They're even missing in the Wii U version. That sucks. Number 5, Earthworm Jim, Earthworm Jim series. From Earthworm to superhero to cartoon star to forgotten. As his catchy cartoon theme states, the soil he did crawl and a super suit did fall. The rest, as they say, is forgotten history. Here comes Earth and Jimmy, know that he's a mighty one. <laughs> After a string of fun 2D adventures and a cartoon series, things took a turn for the worse when the worm moved onto the N64. Turns out the hero with the great big muscles was still just an earthworm. 
Ah! The 3D game tanked and we never heard from Jim again, until the HD remake, which reminded us of a time when we thought he was, quote, mighty fine. Yeehaw! Number 4. Konoko, Oni we can always use more female leads in video games, especially leads like Konoko, who combined third-person shooting and hand-to-hand -hand combat while she discovered the secrets of the police force she worked for. There has to be something I can do. Sadly, cool gameplay can only go so far. There were several problems with the game, the biggest one being the removal of land-based multiplayer, which had been available in the demos, and the absence of certain mechs that had appeared in the game's trailers. This was a case of a game being too ambitious and coming out too soon, which has left us wondering, would the game look better if it were re-released today? Number 3. Gex. Gex series. Beyond the puns in the platforming, Gex actually has an interesting backstory. In the first game, he deals with his father's death by bottling up his feelings and seeking comfort in watching television. At least according to the instruction booklet. Hey, cool. I wonder what's on HBO. Of course, being pulled into the TV and defeating a supervillain made the whole thing a bit surreal. If I had a life, I'd be glad to get back to it. But we can't believe this hasn't been remade with a few Beyonce's or Netflix's while having some message about the media and how people process grief. Kill your TV, man. Sadly, the last time we saw the gecko was in Hot Shots Golf 2. Number 2. Tiny. Tiny Tank, up your arsenal. You'd think that by the year 2094, people would know not to let robots fight their battles. But thanks to Centrax making their robo spokesperson an adorable yellow tank, people are easily swayed. Thanks, Tiny. Nah, eh, but he is kind of cute. Wahoo! Hi, America! Hi, boys and girls! It's me, Tiny Tank! Maybe things will actually work out. Nope, that live demonstration just caused Tiny's destruction, and his shards have brought his attacker, an entire robot army, to life. Whoops. And you're a killing machine. What's wrong with that? It's creepy. 100 years later, Tiny is rebuilt and his adventure begins, but only for one time. <laughs> Sadly, this was the only Tiny release, and we never got to be that adorable, destructive robot ever again. I've had it up to here, you get me? Up to here! Before we try to remember our number one pick, let's not forget about these honorable mentions. <laughs> Number 1. Marina Light Years – Mischief Makers While everyone was entering into the world of 3D gaming, this robot maid decided to shake things up in her own 2D adventure. Shake, shake. Yeah! Marina Light Years introduced gamers to the very first 2D platformer on the N64, a rather bold move when every game was trying to live up to the 3D standards of Super Mario 64. Yeah! Yeah! The game got decent reviews at the time, but nothing too spectacular. The good reviews would actually come several years later, when reviewers looked back at the game and praised it as an underrated gem. Yeah! Oh! If we don't remember anything else about Marina, we'll always remember this. Do you agree with our list? <laughs> Which video game hero do you remember fondly, but everyone else seems to have forgotten? For more memorable top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Cut. Uh, something wrong? You know, Tiny, I'd like to tell you what a pleasure it's been working with you. You would? I'd like to, but that would be a lie, wouldn't it?